stand by for the latest episode of the Biz News Flash Briefing. The latest news from the world of business and investments. South African-American biotech billionaire Patrick Soon Shiong has committed an initial 3 billion rand to help build out South Africa's capabilities to produce COVID-19 vaccines. During an online World Health Organization meeting this week, Soon Shiong said his company would bring its technologies and expertise to South Africa to enable vaccine production capabilities. Soon Shiong is the inventor of Abraxane, a drug which is highly regarded for its efficacy in the treatment of breast cancer. He was born in Port Elizabeth and obtained his bachelor's degree in medicine from the University of Witwatersrand before moving to North America, where he has built multiple successful pharmaceutical and healthcare companies. South Africa's Department of Health says that while COVID-19 infections climbed 46% in the last week, the country has not yet reached its resurgence threshold. Cases are rising fastest in the Northern Cape and Gauteng. The South African Medical Research Council has produced a report into excess deaths over the past year, suggesting that more than 133,000 South Africans have died from COVID-19. South Africa's APSA expects a tenfold profit jump for the six months to June the 30th, it said this week, citing cost controls and reduced bad debts. South Africa's biggest food producer, Tiger Brands, also expects half-year profits to rise by up to 55% versus a year earlier. Facebook has been called to appear before South Africa's parliament this month to explain what it is doing about harmful misinformation spreading on its platform. Opposition MP Pumzile Van Dam says Facebook will appear before the Communications and Digital Technologies Committee on the 25th of May. That was your Biz News Flash Briefing. I'm Jackie Cameron for Biz News. You've been listening to the Biz News Flash Briefing, bringing you the latest news from the world of business and investments. Subscribe to Biz News Radio on iTunes, Spotify, Amazon, or by visiting biznews.com.